Hey everyone! Welcome back to Maddie's Creative Corner. It's so good to have you here. Today's video is going to be our monthly PR unboxing from Born Pretty. And they came up with some really exciting products as you can see. So first of all, they sent me a gel brush, which I'm going to be using later on for the colors as you saw. And they also sent me this gorgeous light lilac gel polish. This is such a pretty color and I have quite a few purples from them, but I think this might be my favorite. Then they sent me some of these false tips to use with the very next product, which is their colored solid nail tips gel. As you saw in the past, they came out with a clear version of this solid glue, but now they have also come up with some colored ones, which are really, really cool. So I'm really excited to try this today. As you can see, I just had to touch it like immediately to see the, to the texture of it. <laughs> And then another awesome product is their solid cream gel, which comes with four different colors. I really like this particular palette because these colors are jelly and they're so up my alley. I love them. And they also released some more neon shades, which are so pigmented. I was shocked at how pigmented these are. And yeah, they are so fun for the summer. I love this launch. So let's get started with the nail art. <laughs> So first of all, I wanted to try and apply the tips that they sent me. And as you can see, these are already etched on the inside where your uh, nail would attach to the tips so that you don't have to do any extra filing. And the solid glue looks really cool. I really like this color. Um, and I just went ahead and I scooped up a little bit of it and I just took it and just straight up pressed it onto my nail. And it was pretty nice to like the way that it applied it wasn't too thick i think this also has to do with how it is during the summer months because it's warmer but it just applied very nicely it was very strong and i usually apply like a layer of peel off base coat so that my designs come off easily and it still held on pretty strong like i really liked the way that this applied it wasn't too bulky and the color stayed up pretty nice and cured very nice as well so yeah, they have a lot of different shades actually, like more pinkish ones. I think this one matches my like skin color pretty well. And they also have a lot of different ones that you can try, like pink ones and nude ones and for darker skin tones. So I think you're definitely gonna find something that will match you and that you will like. So go ahead and give these a try and let me know what you thought of them as well. I really like the idea of them being colored. I think it saves so much time on like manicures. So here's what they look like after curing and then the very next step is to apply a layer of base coat to all of the nails. And now I'm going to take the brush that they sent me and the solid colors and I'm going to paint each nail uh, a different color. So I also wanted to tell you a few things about how to apply these the best way and how to make them work because as you can see here it's a little streaky and if you want to avoid it I have a few tips to help you out. So the very first thing is that you need to break in your brush if it's new and this is something that you usually do with acrylic brushes but this one in particular, the gel brushes, you need to keep them coated in a little bit of gel before you start working. And this ensures that the synthetic bristles are going to um, help you create a smoother um, coverage, I guess, on the nail. So use a little bit of base coat and just put your brush into it. Like it, imagine that you're painting like your little dish um, <laughs> with the paintbrush that has a little bit of base coat on it. And then wipe most of that off either on like a towel or just try to swirl it around on like a little tray so you can take most of it off and then go into your gel color, your solid color. Um, this happened to me a lot in the beginning that I wasn't able to apply them properly and they were a little streaky, but if you use this trick with the um, base coat, it always works really nicely. So yeah, try that out and let me know what you think. And if you're struggling with solid colors, let me know and I would try to make a video on instructions on how to use them well. 
And now I'm going to take a detail brush and I'm going to dip into that neon coral red shade. And I'm going to go ahead and outline the French design that we created on all of the nails. Look at how pigmented this is. This is just one coat and you can see like my strokes are so pigmented. This is incredible. I really love this and it cures really well. Usually colors like this, which are very pigmented, um, don't cure as well, but this was flawless. Like I had zero issues with it. And also, I'm sorry, you can see my hair in some of the shots. I was really trying to, you know, paint closely. <laughs> And some of my baby hairs are just flying into frame, so ignore that, please. <laughs> then after that, I took some clear poly gel. You can take any rhinestone or gem glue you might like. And I applied some of that as well as some top coat. And without curing it, I took my wax pen and I started adding all of my charms. I wanted to use like orange and coral flowers and some caviar beads and some like square and oval rhinestones that I got from Shein a while ago and I never got the chance to use them. So for this nail, I only used flowers, but for uh, like the different, each nail is a little different in its own way. So you will get to see that as I continue putting on rhinestones and decorations and stuff. And yeah, I just kind of freestyled it. I just picked out colors and decorations that I thought matched these colors. I, all in all, like, I really, really like the coverage of these. I love the way they applied. I love the Soli Gel. Like, this month's PR package was just such a huge success. I just loved every single thing. I usually love everything they sent me, but this month was just a little bit more special. Um, because the products are just so new and so like I, I never used a palette like this before so it was really special <laughs> So yeah, you can see I'm just applying caviar beads and little flowers and just putting it together I'm always enjoying this the most and yeah, I hope you're enjoying it as well <laughs> Last but not least, it's time to add some cuticle oil to nourish my cuticles. And this is always a step that I consider very important. And here is the finished look. I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, leave a like and a comment telling me what you thought. And subscribe for more nail art content every single week. Once again, a big thank you to Born Pretty for sending me these beautiful unique products i just look forward to receiving their pr packages every single month and they're so nice so so nice to work with um so yeah a big thank you to them i love working with them and i hope that you give these products a try they are really really good quality and i love making art with them they just look so nice so yeah <laughs> i hope you enjoyed the video and i will see you on the next one bye